Browsing with speech recognition. Speech recognition software listens to human speech, transcribes it into text, and executes spoken commands that operate your computer or device. As well as dictating text, filling out forms, and opening and closing applications, you can browse the web and completely control websites with voice commands. Core navigation verbally mirrors how you navigate with a keyboard. For example, rather than using keys on a keyboard, you say tab to move focus to the next item, shift tab to move to the previous item, and press enter to activate a control. Tab. Tab. Tab four times. Press shift tab. Press shift tab. Press enter. To activate a link or button, you can say click together with the text used in the link or button. For example, click services to activate a link labeled services. Click services. If you just say click link, the software will highlight and number all links in the current page. You then select the link you want by saying the number. Click link. Choose three. In situations where a control lacks a visible text label, or where the visible text doesn't match the actual accessible name of the control in the underlying markup, people using speech recognition can use alternative approaches, such as mouse grid, which overlays a grid on the page. Each box has a number. By saying a number in a box, the grid focuses on that part of the page. This is repeated until the button or link you want is focused. In this recording, we're using mouse grid to set focus to a graphical control that lacks visible text. Mouse grid. 7. 6. 6. Click. These are some of the high-level details about speech recognition and common strategies that people browsing with speech recognition use. To find out more about accessibility, visit tetralogical.com.